Hey guys, it's Katie. Um, I just decided to do a vlog because I kind of had a rough night at work and um, it was diet related. So um, for those of you that don't know, I am a server at a fine dining restaurant in Columbia, South Carolina. And um, I also have a culinary degree and um, a total foodie and I just, you know, used to live breathe, eat, everything, and it was just awesome food world and everything, but, you know, I kind of had a problem. You know, I would eat for any reason, which is kind of what defines an addiction is, you know, that you find any reason to do it, and um, especially I was really bad with sweets, and um, so, you know, I just, every morning I would wake up and want something sweet, and every meal I would not only just want to have something sweet, but I would have to have something sweet, and, um, which is a problem, you know, if you feel like you have to have something rather than, you know, you'd like to have something. Um, you know, I never left a grocery store without buying something, a cookie, candy, ice cream, whatever it is. I was just addicted. And, um, so, you know, I work in the food industry, and this is my passion and my career choice in life so um, I had to really search my soul and figure out how I was gonna do this diet and still be in this industry and the one thing that proved to be tricky is that um, well not the one thing but you know a thing that proves to be tricky is that my chef um, has new items all the time and puts new things on the menu and when he does that, he brings out a dish for the servers to taste because if the servers don't know what it tastes like, you can't describe to your table what it's going to taste like. You know, you need to be able to sell the food and the best way to do that is for your servers to have tasted it. And so um, this whole diet, I have abstained from tasting it and I knew that he was pissed. Um, he argued with me a little bit about it and I argued back. And um, I made some good points, but then tonight um, he came and he said, I want you to taste this dessert. It's a new dessert. And I said, you know, chef, I really can't right now. I'm, I can, you know, I'm off P3 technically in like four or five days. So um, I could have, I don't know, whatever. But I was trying to, to decline because I haven't cheated so far. And so I didn't want to cheat. And um, so... I declined to taste it and he told me that I had to and that he said that any chef he's ever worked for they've said you know you can be vegetarian and work for me but you have to taste it and then you can spit it out you don't have to ingest it but you just have to taste it and he said that the same should apply to my diet and just because of all the research that I've done for the past you know two months I've been learning about sugar and how it reacts in your body and I know that one taste, one bite is going to have enough calories in it that could potentially mess up my diet and it's going to contain enough sugar or starch or whatever it is to mess up my diet and so I haven't done it and he made me do it tonight. So tonight was the first time I had cheated on this entire diet and it was because he made me for my job. And I mean yeah, it's not really that big a deal. I may not see a gain on the scale tomorrow. but. Um, you know, I, after this shift, I asked to talk to him and I said, you know, the reason I went on this diet is because I had a problem. It wasn't just because of vanity reasons, which I mean, sure, I want to be thinner, but I had a problem. And for some reason, you know, if, if somebody came to him and said, um, or in any situation, it doesn't have to be your boss, but your family or whoever is giving you a hard time about the diet. If someone came to you and said, I have a problem with alcohol or I have a problem with drugs, you wouldn't try to even say, well, just taste this and spit it out. You wouldn't say that about alcohol because we know better, but it's still a trap in our culture. And, um, you know, I don't know what can be done about it. I just, I mean, I guess awareness, that sounds kind of cliche, but, um, you know, people that do struggle with eating disorders or eating problems, not even disorders, just you know, issues with food, issues with too much of an abuse of any kind of substance, whether it's sugar and ice cream at the end of the night or, you know, too many glasses of wine. But I don't know. I told him that I am going to do another round in three weeks and that he said, you know, you can taste it and then spit it out. So I told him I'm going to try that method. And if for some reason I stall out 
for more days than you know it should be happening then I'll come to him and talk to him again about it but you know bottom line I don't want to have diabetes when I'm older and I don't want to be able to you know not have a family because I'm too unhealthy so I don't think that you know one bite should really be that big a deal but it upset me and so I wanted to vlog about it to see what y'all's reactions are maybe I'm just being a weenie about it maybe one bite's not that big a deal you know but it was something that I hadn't cheated up until this point so that's how I feel about that anyway um, I hope you guys are doing really well and I hope I didn't mean to bring anybody down about anything I just these are some of the struggles that I face and so if you guys are gonna be in situations where people are pressuring you to eat foods if you can say no do because it's your health it's not theirs you have the right to choose what goes in your body and what doesn't so you know and it's hard because I live in the south and it's hard to turn down food because you're trying not to be disrespectful but um, you know the bottom line is this is a choice and you have to you have to put all of your effort behind it or it won't work for you so um, yeah I hope this helped anybody and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow because tomorrow I'm actually really excited I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna do a demonstration where I cook I think four things in bulk so that I can freeze them and I won't have to be cooking absolutely every single day on a sheet you the next time because even though I like to cook it's that was a lot so um, well I think I've said goodbye about four times now so y'all have a good night